Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. We look at your shields, definitely search peasants, vassals, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, yeah, it's been a little, been a while. I took a couple of months off here, and uh, I don't know if I'm actually back on or yet, or, or uh, not yet. But uh, I thought I'd at least do kind of a, a wrap up of where things are right now. As far as why I haven't done videos for a while, it's a kind of a number of things. You sort sort of go through these existential uh, moments when you do YouTube videos. I've discussed it with some of my other compatriots who do these sort of things and uh, uh, just uh, the inspiration comes and goes and, and all sorts of other things happen. Uh, you wrestle with the meaning of uh, what you do. So sometimes I, I look at my own videos and even though it's just a hobby for me, uh, I still question what kind of value I, I add ultimately especially as I have grown to be even more disgusted with a lot of the alternative media um, as I've been with uh, mainstream media, uh, unfortunate fact. And, uh, I mean, and, uh, and then just this huge shitstorm that's been uh, happening out there in the world right now, uh, the last part of 2014, I think the last video I did was at the beginning of November, so definitely been a couple of months and, and just all kinds of crazy shit has happened since then and I'm going to do kind of a quick uh, wrap up uh, uh, look at it to show you why I just feel like uh, a little overwhelmed right now. Uh, we have this France shooting so now we have 10,000 uh, French troops in the streets, uh, more uh, uh, governments calling for uh, war on jihad and, um, and uh, all these uh, European leaders showing unity uh, and solidarity in Europe lining up and uh, wondering why after 30, 40, 50, 100 years of meddling in the Middle East there continues to be blow, blowback uh, just as beyond all these uh, countries' uh, leaders. But uh, horrific violence, although the, the usual questions about whether uh, these uh, events are real or not, there's already questions about some of, the, of what's unfolding. So, uh, of course, we have Japan on QE, uh, Maximum, Gluteus Maximus, and... Um, their uh, economy is uh, being rocked. Uh, nobody gives a shit about Ebola anymore. Uh, we have Russia continuing to be demonized and blamed for all the things that the United States has actually did in Ukraine. Uh, and now we see continued efforts uh, with uh, Saudi Arabia's help uh, to destabilize Russia and try and undermine Russia. Uh, although it's having its economic effects, uh, politically it's having uh, the uh, opposite effects, uh, giving solidarity to Putin and his government. Um, we have this, uh, this uh, semi-revolution going on in Mexico over the 43 missing students and uh, we have the continued uh, semi-revolution uh, going on in Pakistan but nobody in the West gives a shit about that so I'm sorry you brought it up. And, uh, and then we have uh, continuing negotiations going on with Iran, uh, nuclear uh, negotiations but of course now that we have a GOP Congress uh, they're going to probably try and derail that and get back to some sort of bombing plan as soon as possible. And uh, Iraq is continuing to descend in, into a uh, utter quagmire, but uh, that's that's been out of the papers recently too because it's just an uh, uh, uncomfortable fact. Uh, let's now uh, uh, focus in on the fact that uh, jihadists are amongst us and we all need to be terrified and uh, hunkered down in our bunkers and have our government save us. And, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. I, the kind of thing that I fear the most is uh, stupid Americans driving around in their cars on their cell phones because it's very likely in the next 10 years, if not the next uh, 10 weeks, that I'm going to be killed by somebody like that. But the likelihood that I'm going to be killed by terrorists are probably 100 billion trillion zillion uh, to one or some other uh, gastronomical number. So, uh, and then we have the uh, drama playing out with Israel and Palestine again. And uh, the tit for tat and Palestine uh, threatening to uh, join the international court and bring war crimes charges against Israel. And uh, Israel, of course, immediately cutting off uh, tax revenues and electricity and uh, probably planning yet another uh, uh, massacre uh, in Gaza. Um, because, of course, they'll have the justification. They're only defending themselves uh, correctly, I'm uh, sure many would feel. Huh. And uh, Libya's descended into chaos, but nobody gives a shit about that anymore. 
And uh, then we have the derivatives bill uh, tucked into the uh, United States uh, last budget. Everyone's heard about this now, but uh, once again, the American taxpayers are going to be on the hook uh, should the uh, banking system implode and uh, these derivatives all get called in. But nobody gives a shit about banker scum and uh, banker fraud and derivatives and bailouts anymore. So I'm, uh, let's just go through that. Who gives a shit about that? And then we have the torture report. The torture report came out, and um, uh, they're calling it torture now. And uh, really, it's not going to change anything. Uh, we'll continue to torture. Uh, it just won't uh, be uh, quite so um, open to being revealed. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just have mercenaries do it now and get the government out of the uh, torture business and just subcontract it out. And um, and then Afghanistan, where the war <laughs> is officially over somehow. But, uh, of course, we're going to be there forever. And uh, then we have the, the GDP numbers coming out, and uh, that's all bullshit, and it's boring, and people don't care about GDP and gross domestic product or all these uh, bullshit uh, real estate numbers, all these uh, bullshit uh, employment numbers, and uh, basically all the numbers that come out of the government being bullshit. Because uh, it sounds pretty good. We got the stock market at all-time all highs. Uh, I, I can't even keep, keep track now, 17 thousand, eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, twenty thousand, um, has no relation whatsoever to the real economy. The, re the recovery is here. I got some bad news for people. We have the uh, recoveries here, and the recovery all along was about uh, the recovery for the one percent and the one percent of the one percent. And um, so you better get used to it because um, there will be no recovery for uh, everyone else. Uh, this is the new normal. And uh, I, I got some bad news for uh, people who are concerned about the so-called New World Order, because the New World Order is global corporate governments, and uh, i got some bad news for you. It's already here, and the surveillance in uh, police states uh, that are growing up uh, around the Western world uh, to uh, facilitate this uh, will continue to grow, as we also know and have seen in real time. And, uh, and last but not least, my hat's off to the New York Police Department, who are using uh, who should be apolitical. Uh, perhaps uh, people should imagine what would happen if, uh, let's say, the military decided which uh, conflicts and which battles and which wars they would engage in and which they wouldn't. Um, and now we have the police, ostensibly uh, servants of the people, who are now uh, holding the mayor and city hostage. And, uh, and uh, uh, oddly enough, revealing that in the end, uh, we don't really even need to have them there. Um, most uh, all of what 35,000 New York City police uh, could be eliminated, and um, but unfortunately, then we'd be on the hook for uh, all the 35,000 uh, pensions and all and all the uh, hundreds of thousands of pensions that are, that are already being paid. But um, of course, they're going to be getting combat pay pretty soon on top of what they make now, and. Uh, and then uh, we have a Republican Congress, and uh, so we know what to expect. Uh, some of the good old-fashioned uh, GOP values we've seen before, endless war, uh, continued and expanded uh, military spending, uh, more uh, handouts to the banks and corporates, uh, uh, tax breaks, and, and the like. And, uh, and then the big dramatic uh, change of scene with uh, Cuba. Uh, and uh, it's nice to see... Uh, the, this uh, long overdue uh, chilling of uh, relations with Cuba, um, but I want to say to Cuba, be careful what you wish for, because once you become open to the United States, uh, you're going to see some, um, probably some good changes, certainly, but uh, there's going to be a lot of bad things that you've tried to avoid uh, by having a revolution that are going to return to your country, and, um, and uh, as far as the U.S., of course, it's a, a great uh, move for uh, Obama to try and set things up for a Democratic presidential um, victory in uh, 2016, uh, pandering to the, the Latino vote. So, uh, so anyway, other than that, I want to say hello to all my uh, uh, subscribers out there uh, I haven't seen for a while. Um, you are, are what certainly keep keep me uh, going at this at times. And um, but uh, and hello to all the shields and trolls out there that I've dealt with, and um, well, here's to 
2014, it just uh, turned into a giant shitstorm. And, of course, uh, 2015, uh, which will be an even more giant shitstorm. And um, I'm, I've kind of prepared myself. Uh, got this nice uh, bottle of Glenlivet. And, uh, and I want to toast all of you out there, and certainly everybody that's uh, watched my videos, certainly uh, all, the, all of you regulars uh, who have hung in with me for years, uh, been on here for about three years now. Here's to you. And, um, of course, an even better toast would be, I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.